Hello everybody, welcome back or to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming, that's it. So that sounds like your thing, make sure you are subscribed. Okay, so let's get real about dark circles and eye creams. I'm just gonna say it, there is probably not an eye cream out there that's gonna cure dark circles for you, ever. In fact, there isn't any research, scientific study, or reasoning as to why an eye cream would help get rid of dark circles. But don't get me wrong, first of all, eye creams are amazing at removing fine lines, wrinkles, deep puffing under the eye area, so a great anti-aging product. This year alone, I've easily tried over 30 eye creams. I used to be obsessed with finding the eye cream that I think would work and finally get rid of these tired looking puffy eyes. And not a single cream made the tiniest amount of difference, apart from one, which I'll share with you in a minute. Before we know how to really get rid of dark circles, we need to understand what they are and why an eye cream could never actually get rid of them. So first of all, let's try and understand the structure of the under eye, the skin, the blood vessels, the bone. So let's talk about this like as in layers. So we'll start with the bottom layer where there could actually be underlying dark blood vessels that you can actually see through the skin. So that's where the skin layer comes in and this is where it's kind of down to genetics. You could have a lot thicker skin under your eyes so you don't actually see these blood vessels or your skin could be a lot thinner under there like mine um, and your skin is a lot more translucent. So these blood vessels become very, very obvious. Then there's the actual surface of the skin itself and this is where pigmentation comes into it. So this is where your skin is naturally just a little bit darker on the surface and it's got nothing to do with the underlying blood vessels. Could be both, it could be one or the other. And many of these factors like I said are down to genetics. It could be environmental developments as well. However in the majority of the cases it's a combination of everything. So what can actually cause these dark circles and other than eye creams and potions what can actually help get rid of these dark circles or reduce the appearance of these dark circles? And that's what we're gonna do. We can't really get rid of them completely. I'll tell you how a little bit later, but we're gonna be realistic and we're gonna talk about reducing the appearance of dark circles. So now you may wanna go off and click on another video and find another eye cream that does this, but it's not gonna happen. They just don't exist, I'm afraid. Cause number one could be sun damage. The sun can actually dry out our under eyes. Our under eyes don't have oil glands, so they're not producing excess sebum like the rest of my face does all the time. Then you bring the sun into that and it can dry out your skin so this is making your under eyes a lot drier it can make the skin darker and if your dark circles are due to pigmentation so naturally with the color of your skin then obviously the sun damage is not helping that at all if you get drier skin the skin tends to get darker as well so yes the sun will only be making this problem worse so what is the solution here? Use a sunscreen or an eye cream with a built-in SPF. They are a little bit hard to come by. Or you can also just wear sunglasses when you're outside all the time, which is good for anti-aging anyway, because you don't wanna be doing this whenever you're out in the sun. You wanna be uh, protecting your eyes and the skin around your eyes. So I don't actually have an eye cream with a built-in SPF, but I do just use my normal sunscreen and I'm just very, very gentle with it. So whilst I won't apply sunscreen directly to my under eyes, I'll apply my sunscreen as normal, then spread it gently to under my eye area, tapping above and below. But check the instructions and the warnings on your sunscreen. You don't want to be putting harmful stuff by your eyes. But if you can, get an eye cream with SPF. Cause number two is allergies. So whether it's um, an allergy to pets, to dust, to the weather, whatever's going on, allergies can actually cause um, dark circles for two reasons. They can actually block your sinuses, which can make you look puffy and darker under the eyes, but as well as the general rubbing of your eye area can actually make your under eyes look a lot darker. So the solution here is to take an antihistamine. I know it sounds really, really simple. Um, if it's blocked sinuses, take something for your sinuses. If it's itchy eyes, take an antihistamine. Like I said, I suffer bad in summer to allergies, and I mean suffer really, really bad. But one trick that I've picked up to stop my eyes watering and itching is by using Vaseline. Um, so what I'll do with Vaseline is I'll take a cotton bud, I'll put the tiniest amount of Vaseline on that, then rub it gently under my eyes and on my eyelashes, top and bottom. And this kind of stops all the environmental stuff getting into your eyes that would usually make you itch and rub. So of course, the less rubbing under your eyes, the better. And this is a good and cheap preventative measure. Cause number three, Lack of sleep and smoking. I kind of put these two together because they're general self-care and well-being and lifestyle changes. If I have to tell you why you shouldn't smoke, then I, I don't know what to say. Just don't do it. <laughs> 
Not only does smoking make your under eyes look worse, um, it makes your skin dehydrated, which makes your overall face look even worse, it makes your lips darker, and because you're constantly like, it actually gives you wrinkles around your mouth as well. And you're gonna look like shit by the age of 40, so just stop smoking. Sleep is a big issue for me, and I used to struggle a lot to kind of switch off at night. A lot of people say seven hours is the best kind of hours sleep to get, but then I think that's kind of personal, like I feel good with five to six hours, a lot of other people I know need like 11, do you know what I mean? It's very, very personal. So get a good amount of sleep and feel rested. So check out my video all about how to get a better night's sleep. A lot of those tips really help me switch off and kind of sleep steadily throughout the night rather than waking up every two hours. Cause number four is the pigmentation around the eye area. Different to sun damage, this is generally just genetics and something you're born with. Some people, especially with more ethnic backgrounds, we tend to get a little bit darker in certain places. So under the eyes, we can get like darker kind of like in our Elbow folds, what's that called? Elbow pits, I don't know what they're called. You know, anywhere we have folds or like corners, we can tend to have darker skin. So what is the solution here? Like the rest of our skin, the excess pigmentation under the eyes can get darker due to sun damage, sun exposure even. And it's very difficult to exfoliate under the eye area as well, which can usually help remove that darker skin and dead skin. But if that pigmentation on the top of your skin does seem to be getting darker, then consider using lightening and brightening um, products. For example, a skin brightening apple or serum that can help lighten these areas gradually gently and slowly again much like the SPF we're not gonna apply it directly under our eyes we're gonna apply it to our cheek area pat it around then up to our eyes you just have to be very careful around the eye area as I said as we're being realistic these dark circles may not go this dark pigmentation may not go but makeup can be an option for you I personally don't wear makeup but one thing I've kind of discovered not discovered like I invented it one thing I found online are tone-up creams and what these are very good at is color correcting. And these can drastically reduce the appearance of dark circles under your eye. You do have to be careful with these because some of them can be quite drying. We don't want to really dry out under our eyes. So after using an eye cream, you can apply a tone up cream and this will um, make your dark circles look a lot lighter and a lot less obvious as well. Cause number five is dry and irritated skin. So we know the skin under your eyes doesn't have oil glands so it can't produce its own natural oils. So it's very easy to get dry and flaky under your eyes and when they do get dry and flaky they tend to look darker and um, this also makes fine lines and wrinkles and puffy bags a lot more obvious like a lot a lot more obvious so this is where I do recommend using an eye cream because here this is about moisturizing and nourishing and nothing to do with dark circles and removing them which is the job of an eye cream is to nourish and hydrate a lot of people say you can just use a moisturizer um, instead of your normal eye cream you can depending on the moisturizer the reason eye creams are called eye creams some in most cases is because they are formulated to be a lot lighter for under your eyes so if you're using a heavy thick moisturizer avoid using that under your eyes because you could get those little white dots those little white bumps milia that um, you can only really remove with surgery so to avoid that go for a light eye cream so I just want to reiterate not because eye creams are anything special or gonna work wonders under your eyes but in general they usually formulate to be a lot lighter and work better for the skin under your eyes so I use a very very light eye cream that is almost a watery texture it's not heavy I don't get little bumps under my eyes and this one in particular gives a very nice shine to the skin under my eyes so the natural shine it gives kind of bounces off the light and makes the under eyes look a lot brighter um, but this is also very good at anti-aging because of some of the ingredients in it including green tea so whilst none of these are miracle cures they are realistic this is all about patience and perseverance when it comes to dark circles other than fat transplants and under eye injections there is no real instant fix and whilst that may have been a little bit depressing of a video um, I just want to be real with you guys I'm not here to push eye creams that um, might work or may not work I filmed videos before with eye creams that I was testing that I had nice results with but none of them got rid of my dark circles so don't waste your money on expensive eye creams and eye tools and all this kind of stuff. And remember, don't be scared to experiment with skincare. Be scared of your neighbors. They could be serial killers. But that is it from me now, guys. I will see you next time.